Welcome back, everybody. This is the San Diego Opera Podcast. I'm Nick Ravellis. My guest today is Mabel in our production of The Pirates of Penzance, soprano Maureen McKay. Hi, Nick. Welcome back. Thank you. You were it's last nice to here. Be here. Yeah, and, and nice <laughs> to have you here. Um, you were last here uh, with us just earlier this year as yes. Nanetta mm -hmm. in Falstaff. Yep. And then what happened? Oh. <laughs> because you weren't originally. You weren't originally cast. I wasn't. And you got a call. When? When did this happen? Oh, I got a call in the summer, mm -hmm. and um, I had to re-juggle a few things, um, but the chance to come back to San Diego was so appealing, and I love this production. You've I, done this production? Yes. Did you originate in I, this production? I didn't originate. Um, but it was at Atlanta Opera, is Atlanta that right? Atlanta Opera, my hometown. Oh, fun. Yeah. Um, the audience loved the production. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful rendering, and Sean, working with him, is a, an absolute joy. We're going to talk to Sean Curran next week. He's oh, the stage great. director, and also the, he was the origina original director of this particular production. Yes. So designed and have built, and, and it's, so it's all, it's all him, which is his yes. vision, which will be really, really exciting. Yes. Um, is it fun playing a role like this? I mean, Nanetta is not really a comic role, although it's a comic opera, and there are some little moments, but this is full out, yeah. have fun comedy, right? Yes, it, it reminds me of my musical theater days growing up. Uh -huh. That's how I sort of started, you could say, in, in singing. In Atlanta? Um, in Georgia, in a small town called Snellville. Okay. That's where I really grew up. Uh -huh. And um, my first voice teacher introduced me to Gilbert and Sullivan very early on oh. and gave me an HMS Pinafore Aria mm -hmm. and she had her whole voice studio put on a Gilbert and Sullivan concert ah. and she dressed up as the um, sergeant police oh. <laughs> and had some of her singers doing the the police scene from Pirates. Oh how so, fun. Yeah. So you've known this repertoire for, for quite some time. I've been familiar with it. I, professionally I've only sung Gilbert and Sullivan in this production You've of only Pirates. Done Pirates. Yes. You haven't done Pinafore. Or no, I did Utopia Limited. In, oh, now there's a... That's a random yeah. Gilbert and Sullivan. Um, at College Light Opera Company, it was my summer stock gig uh -huh. when I was trying to find out for myself of my, am I opera bound or Where musical theater bound, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Utopia Limited was <laughs> something, and I was in the chorus of Pirates. Oh. So. But, um... What are the challenges of singing a role like, like Mabel? <laughs> the challenges of Mabel, um, I think they're really, it's not such a challenge, except, you know, when you're, when you're in this repertoire, you have to constantly be in the moment and honest, and mm. that's where the comedy is. Right. That's become yeah. actually a theme of something that, of things that I'm saying out there on the lecture circuit about Gilbert and Sullivan. Yes. And what Patrick said yesterday, what I heard in our first music rehearsal the other day, you can't make fun of it. No. You've got to take it's, it absolutely oh, seriously. Yes. So and that seriously. comes, that comes directly from Gilbert. Yes. Right? Yes, exactly. That, you know, the whole, the whole concept of topsy-turvy, it's ridiculous, yes. but play it absolutely straight. Absolutely, it's like a like an improv troupe. You get tossed some sort of crazy subject matter to improv on the stage, and that's kind of what you're doing up there. Mm -hmm. The story is crazy. The it doesn't make any sense, but <laughs> it's so honestly rendered. Yeah, yeah, and, and, it, and, and that's, the audience loves it. And that's what makes it funny. Mm -hmm. You can't overstick it or no. or make it camp because it just it it, it no. won't hold up. I yeah. don't think. No. It's interesting because all of us singers, we start offering campy, sticky <laughs> stuff, and Sean's like, no, and he know he has the perfect um, gauge yeah. of yeah. this is the right amount. He'll be able to say that, that that's not necessary. Yes. Do this. Exactly. <laughs> pull, pull it back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although I, how many times in in my um, in my work working with with young singers have I ever 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 had to say pull it back. You're always <laughs> looking for more, right? Yeah, yeah, right? Yes, yes. And I'm sure you've heard that. Mm -hmm. um, your career, now you've been covering at the Met yes, for I have. Uh, two or three seasons, mm -hmm. but I see you're doing a Gretel coming up. I am. So is that your first uh, performance at the Met? 
I, that that will be my debut at the Yay. Mets. Oh, so fantastic. Very exciting. That is exciting. Yes. And how many performances? I only get one. You get the one. I get one. So. And it's when? It's December 28th. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the holidays are in New York. The holidays are in New York. <laughs> the whole family will be there. Oh, fun. Yeah. But that's that must be tremendously exciting. It is. And, you know, I live close to New York, so it's it's so convenient as well. Right, yeah. right. Oh, God, terrific, mm -hmm. terrific. Yeah. Um, w one thing I'm, I wanted to ask you, in fact, I wanted to ask all of the singers, because this piece, like Magic Flute, and you've done Panina. Yes, many times, yes. That um, there's a lot of dialogue. Mm -hmm. And moving from singing to speaking, um, it seems to me would be an, an issue of some, I mean, it's something that you really kind of have to think about and prepare for technically. Um, how do yeah. you, how do you approach that? Or maybe well, it doesn't, maybe it feels more natural to you. But I've done so much of Zingspiel, rap or musical theater. Mm -hmm. uh, like this summer I was in Zemia et Azor, which is French and you, we, we weaved in between singing and dialogue a lot. And you just need to remember to keep the singing in your voice, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you have to fight your larynx rising. Uh, right. It's like there's a grounding um, that you think about. So you use your breath support, and it depends on the production, whether you're mic'd or not. And I don't know in our situation, I don't think we're mic'd at San think so. Diego Opera. I don't think so either. So well, we, 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 let's yeah. put it this way, traditionally we do not. Right. But because there is so much dialogue, in this show, I'm. You, I, I, I'm not sure. I haven't really even asked. But yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, it, in big houses like this, when you don't have a microphone, then you really need to speak like you're singing. And also, our conductor today, he was giving me some great input into one of my lines. He said, "Just rev it up and and speak it up here, and then let the whole line." Kind of just go. He said, "Use all of your caverns." <laughs> kind of. <laughs> That's a great image. You know. Yeah. In in your face because it can be over the top and and we need to use the inflection. Right. To cut to the back row of the house and right. it's also the style. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Um, your opening number. Yes. For a wandering one. Yes. Is um, I, I I like to compare it to the two Gounod. Juliette, yes. as well as Marguerite, both have opening numbers that include a kind of waltz song. Yeah, yeah and that's I, so true. I like to think that Sullivan is sort of sending up um, the things that he and his wife saw at the yes. Royal Opera, you know, when they went to Covent Garden. Yes. That he's very much in um, um, part of the operatic tradition. Yes. Um, um, I think that there are members of our audience who perhaps think, oh, Gilbert and Sullivan, right? Oh, well, no, it's, and it, it's, it's, it's not easy to sing. And it's opera. It's opera. It, it really is. is. You have to plan your breaths, how, how you're going to phrase, and you know, if there's a portamento, how can you sneak it in real quick? And it's very operatic. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you find that as well, that, that oh, absolutely. throughout. Oh, absolutely, and English in general is not the easiest language to sing and especially when you're delivering it to an English speaking audience you want every single word well you want this for any role you do anywhere but but you can hide behind Italian you and can French. hide if you're, <laughs> oh, in, a, a if you're in the USA <laughs> singing Italian or German but it, we as artists all of us in this show it's so funny and the comedy is so fast-paced you want your audience to hear every consonant and every nuance. Right. So I know all of us in this cast are diligent about making sure we are doing our best to articulate. I, I, and, could, yeah. I could tell that at mm -hmm. the first music rehearsal. Yeah. It was one of the most detailed first music rehearsals ah, that I've seen. That's great. Uh, and yeah. It was really interesting how much yeah. stopping and polishing and Yes. How many suggestions were being made mm -hmm. about pronunciation or about timing, about pushing forward, about laying back. Yes. It was really, really eye-opening. Yes. And it, Evan was very clear, and he is in rehearsals with what he wants. He just shows us a lot, yeah. which is fabulous. You really need the give and the take in this rep. Right. Oh, we love that. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you? Where are you going after, uh, after San Diego? 
Well, I'm going to sing Greta Let Them Met, but it's in English. So that Once is again, the very yeah, next. That's, that's the very next game. Cool. Yeah, okay. I'm excited. All right. And yeah. still covering as well? Um, yes. You're in a little yes. covering? Yes. Well, congratulations. I'm delighted you. that you're back. Thank you. Can't wait to hear you in this role. I think it's going to be uh, such fun, and the cast is spectacular. Uh, they really are. Really it's, good people, too. It, just terrific. So thanks Thank again you, for coming Nick. in, and yeah. see you on stage. See you soon. All right.